there's lots of fires around this area all, you know, all summer. But this one just got out of control and burnt through 40,000 hectares of bushland. And uh, we're just lucky that no lives were lost, um, no stock were lost, and um, we've come out of it with relatively um, no property damage. This park is very important to the local economy. We've got three businesses uh, right on the, on the northern boundary that are reliant on visitors coming to, to the park, and particularly to Bluff Knoll, and to walk Bluff Knoll Walk Trail, which is uh, certainly our iconic walk trail in, in the state, and if not the country. We are getting some great support from other regions, uh, Kimberley region, Wheatbelt region, and we've got an employment agency that's helping us with some rebuild as well. So it's, it's really nice to be able to know that around the department, uh, we can get that support um, in a time of you know, pretty dire need for us in the region. There's a lot of, lot of people that may not understand that uh, the work doesn't stop when the fire stops and we put the fire out. You know, work continues right into the recovery stage and you know, recovery in this park is multifaceted and, and uh, pretty complex as well. Yeah, I love what you've done with the rock on the side of those steps too yeah, to support to that. Uh, so it's been about six and a half weeks since the fire and we're out today looking at the trail work that's been um, completed on Bluff Knoll Trail. Um, the guys are probably about 600 metres up the trail currently, um, working really good. We've got a team of five people working. The job they're doing we're really pleased with. Um, it's slow methodical work as you can imagine. It's been extremely hot on some days, you know, over 40 degrees and the guys have been working out here trying to get this uh, job completed as quickly as they can. Understanding that it's pretty difficult terrain, it's all uphill and uh, the guys have to walk in on site each day and there's lots of tools and equipment that need to be dragged up the hill. Although this fire obviously affected a small area in comparison to those massive fires in the east, because of our high species diversity and the number of endemics and threatened flora in the Stirlings, it's had a massive impact. So um, between the, the two recent fires, 25 out of about 27 threatened flora were affected in the Stirlings. And we also have, have um, seed collections of many of these species and we want to do more translocations, uh, possibly, hopefully or possibly initially outside the park and then maybe down the track we'll bring some more back. So some of the important elements to recovery after a bushfire, the, the infrastructure, uh, replacing the infrastructure, repairing what's been damaged, replacing what's been damaged. Obviously trying to get back community functioning. Uh, they've been hugely disrupted. You know, ro main roads were closed, businesses were closed, people were evacuated. So getting those communities back, back and running, getting the message out, the marketing message that the park is open for business. So that's one of our main recovery aims. That's the sign of hope. That first bit of growth that then puts you back on the positives to focus forward.